Hello Cancer, welcome to your weekly love tarot reading where we are going to be asking the question, what is their true intentions? First card out, Spirit Guides for Cancer, is going to be uh, their person's energy, what type of person that you guys are dealing with. This can be anyone. It can be somebody that you're thinking about, an ex that wants to come in, a person that you're currently with. It can even be... Um, uh, somebody that you just met as well. We're going to be asking a whole bunch of questions during this reading. I mean, stuff like, is it worth pursuing? We're also going to ask what you need to know about them that we, you don't know currently, which is always a good thing to know, you know what I'm saying? But otherwise, let's get started. That first card out, who are you dealing with? Um, in the extended, I'm going to be looking at the same layout, same questions, but moving into the new year. Because the new year, December is right here. The end of the year is coming. Will this person's intentions towards you change? That was we need to know, negative or positive. So if you want to check it out, there's a link in the description box below. But we got your person's energy. So let's see who you're dealing with here. Somebody new. Four of, it's a four of uh, cups energy. Opportunity beckons. This is somebody new that's coming in. This is for people out there who just met somebody and um, they are offering love or you are interested in them. It's one of the two. It's either they coming in and they're going, hello, how are you, Cancer? Or it is you get interested in this person or both of you are kind of like getting to know each other. There is a sense in their energy of uncertainty about the connection that they have with you. You need to know there's a sense of like uncertainty. They're not 100% sure if this is something that they actually want to go ahead with. And this is kind of nice to know going in. It's almost like they're lingering back a little bit. It's like, okay, is this really what I want kind of vibe coming through? Because it is the four of cups. It is in the reverse position. It's almost like they're wondering about it. Like, okay, all right, okay, really, Cancer? Is that how somebody should be feeling about you when they meet you? I mean, they should be jumping over the moon. You know what I'm saying, Cancer? Considering, you know? So let's see, how will they affect your life? There we go. Let's ask some interesting questions. They will make you stronger. Oh boy. I hope they make you stronger because they're supporting you. And they don't make you stronger because of what I was picking up in the Four of Cups energy. Because then I would be like, okay. Hmm. Um, this is the strength card. It's the touch energy as well. It's, it means that, okay, how they're going to affect your life. It's not like this relationship is going to be a walk in the park, guys. It's not going to be that easy if you're connecting with this person. There's going to be some difficult things that come up. It can work, though. Um, you can overcome whatever difficulties come up there. I'm just saying, uh, yeah, I don't know how you feel about that, but I'm not sure about it. I have to tell you the honest truth. I'm not sure if it's, we're, gonna, we're actually going to ask a bit later, is it worth pursuing? So that's something that I really want to see. But let's see, how will they make you feel? How will you be feeling? This is the thing, yeah, you got this really positive energy coming out with a strength card next to it. It's almost like it might be worth worth me to like do this thing. The manifest energy, it's like you look into your future. You're looking at this person and you're going, you know, the two of us can have a pretty amazing life. We could build the life of our dreams over here with the manifest energy coming out like this. They inspire you in some kind of way, but not just inspire you. It's almost like they make you feel like, oh, I can plan for the future. And that actually makes you feel happy. So we'll see now, is it worth pursuing? Let's first ask quickly, what are their true intentions? Because the thing is, ne, I'm just going to put this one out there for you guys. It doesn't matter if one person's going, I can, we can withstand all the storms here with a strength card and we will build a total future and we can do this thing. And then the other person's only going, shrugging their shoulders, going, okay, I guess. You see, that's what we, sometimes we get caught up in the thrill of being in this relationship, excited about a new person. And instead of looking at the cold hard facts, is this person as excited as I am? That's what I want to see. What are their true intentions, spirit guides? What are their true intentions? Whoa, very defensive. Very defensive energy. There's two moons here in both of these decks that are coming up. This person is not sure. Um, it seems like you you just want to go ahead with this thing. They doubting. They not sure. Um, there's a moon this side here. There's a moon that side there. And they in, look at the stance. It's kind of like okay. 
um, all right, let's do this. This is very overprotective energy. They're not falling in love here. That's what you need to know. They're protecting their heart with two very big swords and they don't even want to see it either. Um, they're protecting, you know, the water in the background is the emotion. It is their heart. It is their love. And in front, they're sitting in front of it with two swords going, you're not going to go swim in my lake. Okay, I'm just saying that is very um, overprotective energy. That is kind of like feeling... Uh, a little bit paranoid as well, not sure. Once again, I pick up this doubting energy. If you want to know what's going on here, this person hasn't yet decided if this is really what they want. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Um, is it worth pursuing, spirit guides? They said just really shuffle the cards. So let's just listen to your spirit guides and give them what they want. Um, is this worth pursuing? Well, hello, blow my mind. I did not expect this to come up here. Um, this is the Knight of Cups energy. So from what I can see here, yeah, they're kind of like asking you to kind of like stick around and not just exit the building just as of yet. Give it a chance. Uh, because this is the, cup, the Knight of, of Cups energy. It's that card of making up energy as well. It kind of comes up a little bit when somebody's interested in you and they want to move forward with you. But at some point, at, first, at some level, it's almost like they're also trying to make up for something. So it's almost like now all of a sudden they get interested in you. But they kind of like feel bad also because they never showed interest from the very, very beginning. Or if the interest was there, there was a doubt inside of them. They're becoming very well behaved. It's all of a sudden roses and wine and funny things like that. Um, yeah, this is very really interesting. This person all of a sudden comes in here. They start putting on their best behavior. Where they were holding back, all of a sudden they're not holding back. Something occurs here that makes them change their mind. So stick around just a little bit there. Let's have a look and see. How will they be feeling about you? I feel like after there's an, something that occurs that makes them change out of this energy. How will they then be feeling about you? Yeah, there's something they're leaving behind here. Oh, okay. I see what Spirit Guide just said. The Seven of Swords energy. Um, this, I'm going to tell you a story about this person. Okay. Seven of Swords energy. This person has gotten themselves into many, many situations that were not okay for them. They have said yes many times when they should have said no. Okay. And because of this, it makes them go there. It's not you. It's them, okay? It's their poor choice of person, okay? They've made many mistakes in the past. They don't want to do that again. The reason why they got the Four of Cups being there, they're asking, do I even want to get in a relationship? The Two of Swords is, I don't want to get hurt again. They're going to leave that energy behind. They are releasing this energy, this insecurity, this paranoia, this fear, out of them and they're going to move forward out of that energy and that is why the knight of cups rocks up there i think it's because you got this thing of like i stand with you let's build the future together and they even go wow somebody actually wants to build the future with me they're not just saying they're going to do it but they're actually making those moves to do it and they visually see that they experience it so let's see what you need what you don't know about them or what you need to know about them They've experienced a lot in life. They've got the high priestess energy. I can give you advice here because the high priestess energy, you're dealing with somebody who is very intuitive. Um, more than what they're showing. They don't show this in themselves, but most of the things that they do in life, most of the situations that they've learned about, they have learned to trust their intuition. Because the thing is, in the past, when they said yes, when they were supposed to be saying no, their intuition was screaming at them to say no, and they ignored it. And this time around, with you, I think their intuition is going to tell them, move ahead with the situation. And they've actually learned now to listen to that. Give them a little bit of a chance to feel it. It's almost like they could be waiting for their, their inner knowing to come in and actually give them a yes or a no to move forward in a situation. And um, in the beginning, I think 
they're a little bit scared and fearful so their intuition is kind of like hidden under layers of fear how i'm feeling it as the fear starts breaking away the intuition the voice of the intuition starts coming through again and then this is when they're going to know from a higher level that they can actually open up their heart to you this is beautiful wow wow but you know what not a single person we meet unless it's a newborn baby and even then okay um is not carrying something and we have to deal with that we have to go through it let's see outcome energy wow excuse me can you pass this card to me <laughs> thank you very much taurus here we go prosperity lies ahead this card it's a new moon in taurus this is a new relationship that's coming up it is very stable um it links to this manifest energy here no wonder they bring this out in you you guys it, i don't just feel it means prosperity and let's just say that it does and let's just go woohoo together because yeah why not you know what i mean and um, this is prosperity in every level of life this is growth this is a new chance that you're getting it is extremely stable with taurus being in being in the taurus um moon energy and um, this is like wow i am just telling you um this is a very beautiful energy that's coming through let's have a look by the way, when we enter into Taurus season, which will be the beginning, run about middle, beginning of new year, um, this is when this relationship can really move to the next level. Really, really move. Let me see, when will it be? It'll be Pisces in February, March, April, May, around about there. What else do we need to know? Look at that. This is, this is moving into something. You got this nothing is set in stone energy here, mutable moon. So this is a growing, um, with a manifest coming up here with the Taurus energy, this is a very fixed energy. You guys have got to know something. Um, be very relaxed with each other, adjust as you are going into the relationship. Like I felt the energy coming in here, this person's very, very protective of themselves, very scared of being hurt. It go with the flow with them. When they start to open up more, be more relaxed with you, go with that flow as well. But always, there's one little thing I want to tell you. Always, always, always show them your true selves. That's what they want to see more than absolutely anything. Be very open with them. Because this thing of them coming in here, having this energy of being quite closed and fearful, that is not going to remain with the nothing is set in stone. This is going to change. It's a mutable energy. It literally goes from this closed energy, mutable, straight into an open heart energy. This is a growing energy as well. I want to show you how I took out the cards here. You got this one, new moon in Taurus. Then you got the mutable energy. Then you got full moon. It's almost like it's making an entire uh, moon cycle energy and it's moving into full moon energy. Even if this is a two month cycle moon, balance spirituality and practicality. This is putting emotions in the right place. This is also feeling. I like the Pisces, very emotional as well. Remember what I like about this as well. The energy that I'm feeling coming through here is that I, they, I completely forgot. I want something I wanted to say to you. There's something very important about the card. Balance spirituality and practically practicality. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sorry, guys. My brain went like on a holiday for a second over there, which it does that quite often. I'm just saying. The thing is here, take note of your emotions. Be very careful how you feel, what you think about, what you, how you're feeling in the day, especially when this relationship starts. Keep your energy in a very high vibrating place. Keep your thoughts very positive. Don't try, don't look at anything. If nothing negative has happened, don't think about negative things. Because I feel like, especially with this manifest card coming out here, with all of this energy growing into what it is, your energy right now will literally manifest whatever you think about. So balancing spirituality and practicality literally means that. Take the practical steps to move forward, but make sure internally your spiritual energy is also in tune with the steps that you are taking. If you're going, I'm going into commitment, okay, with this person, and then when you talk with your friends or your mom or your friend or your brother or whoever you're talking to, you go, oh, I'm so, really going to be committed to this person. We're going to get married, I'm sure. I just hope it works out. You see, don't do that. 
don't don't put any negative spin on a very positive thing that's coming in keep the energy very clear because of the manifest that comes in here with this relationship this is going somewhere very well there we go my beautiful cancerians i love your reading definitely i want to check into the extended reading into the new year december january moving into that new phase let's see the intentions and how they have adjusted will it already be that knight of cups energy showing itself into the new year very exciting thank you guys so much for watching bye